So, contrarians on the internet and people trying to ride the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog hate train for extra views. Yeah, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I confess. They have this buzzwordy catchphrase that they've been spewing a lot in recent years and months. The, the Sonic was never good in the first place line. <sighs> oh boy. Um, you see, I, I'm i going to play devil's advocate here. And not that... Um, again, I, I don't... I, don't I think the... I know what you're about to say, Ted. And I think you're defending something that they don't mean to say in the first yeah, place. I'm, I'm, what I, well, what I am was basically going to say, first off, that bee has testicles hanging out like it's Transformers 2. <laughs> what the fuck? Second off, it's not that the games are bad. Well, personally, I don't think Sonic 1 is a very good game, but that's that's a personal sort of thing. It's These games have a very distinct taste to them. And John was actually talking about this a little bit in an earlier part where he said, like, you know, sometimes it's a little bit too... It's Sonic might be a little bit too busy for some people. And, like, it's a little bit disorienting. And yeah. so some people, like, it's not that the game is necessarily bad, but it's not. It's meant for a specific type of player, I guess is uh, what I'm supposed to... Uh, trying to say. And so even though the games were mostly sound, it's that, you know, they don't always lend themselves to being you know, as widely received as something like The Mario. problem with that defense is that, like I said, it, it's, you're, you're not defending what it is these people are saying. You're defending a different point entirely. I, I'm trying to understand why somebody would never, like, be interested in Sonic. Not that they're like, oh, Sonic has always sucked. Like, no, those people are just being assholes. And unfortunately, that's, that's unfortunately most of the people saying that. To be fair, well, I just, I just, I just want to quickly interject before Lewis goes any further. I, I, I don't think any of us I'd, I'd try to say that if, if you honestly don't like the original games, that you're wrong or an idiot. It just seems that for some reason this this notion, as 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 lucid has cropped up over here. But of course there are going to be people who never liked Sonic, and that's perfectly fine. But yeah, just the notion that this this was a terrible franchise to begin with. I think yeah yeah, Lucid yeah. is kind of come up from I, again. I don't really know. Maybe it might possibly be Ijin. I mean, I, I know we joke about them a lot, but it. IGN have kind of said that a lot over the last like year or so, so it might be them helping it. Well, IGN has never scored Sonic high. Like I think Sonic Adventure 2 got like a 7 point something. Uh, when Sonic Pocket Adventure got a like 10 out of 10. Best game ever made. <laughs> Sonic Sonic Mania actually did get a pretty good, pretty high score from both GameStop, GameSpot and IGN, but I'm, I, have a, I have a suspicion that's because they realized where the wind was blowing and <laughs> didn't want to be that guy this time. <laughs> um, yeah... Probably, but uh, I, 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 before I say anything else on that subject, and this is a tedious boss. I don't know why did they have to bring this back. There are so many rehashed bosses in this game. Like they, again, the bosses may be maybe the low point for me because again, why the fuck do we have so a Sonic One boss and a Sonic CD level? It's it, it's not even all that changed. It's so it's like even more what the point? Yeah, the 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 find the like once you get like six or so hits on him, they add something, but it's not really. This is like the most Sonic the Hedgehog 4 like boss in the game. Yes, it is. It's like it's like a pinch. They mode. added an extra piston. It's totally different. <laughs> Wait, did they? I, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, because it's a wider screen, of course. What, what yeah. am I thinking? Uh, but, oh, um, Lewis, you're going around rings. Then you then you, you gotta be good at the game. Uh, the rings don't matter in this stage in this boss fight because everything's a crusher anyway. Well, in the first part, they matter because yeah, when the, when when you're dodging the lasers, but um, uh, uh, I, oh, I was oh, gonna so say. Oh, hold on, a brief moment. If this thing, if this, if you jump up, if you if you make a ring box appear, and you are to the left of that ring box, Sonic will just push it infinitely, and you'll have to reset. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Because I've had that happen to me in another stage. No, and no, he and over um, it. hold on. What Ted means in Stardust Speedway Act One specific? Oh, I thought it was here. Okay, my bad. No, 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 no. Okay. Wonder why that? Why wonder why that stage in particular? Because it has a stage transition that requires Sonic to go right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so what were you saying, Lewis? What I was going to say, and this took me a long time to get around to because it seemed like three tangents. Uh, <laughs> this tangents. cropped up from that first, like three tangents pop, cropped up from that opening statement about Sonic was never good. <laughs> so uh, who likes pie? One, one, <laughs> one of the things that I that 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 I've come to believe about game criticism in general is that it doesn't have to be good for you to like it, and you don't have to like it just because it's good. Does that make any sense to anyone? Yeah. Yeah, no, that makes... Be, that yeah, it's it that what you're talking about is preference. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, though, it's like... 
at this I understand what you're saying it, but at the same time, if you don't like something, it's perfectly acceptable for you to think that it's a bad game. For like uh, to bring up something brain scratch related, I think Pikmin 2 is a bad game. Other people think it's a good game. You know, yeah, so that's just a different. Oh, it's gonna go crazy again. <laughs> Ted, you've opened Pandora's box for a second time. I'm not saying I'm not saying unacceptable. That said, most of the people who say this particular thing don't have a strong argument beyond them regurgitating the same one about the game not being fair. Which, to be fair, I would say <laughs> that about Metropolis Zone. Uh, I do, uh, Metropolis Zone deserves that criticism. Metropolis Zone kills <laughs> almost every playthrough of Sonic 2, I do. So... <laughs> am I am, am I am I crazy in the sense that I kind of I never had a problem with Metropolis Zone because growing up I kind of like that level. I, I, am I, I crazy? I, I don't. I, I, what do you and have? Then Lewis blows up. Do, do you have? <laughs> do, do you have? Do you have a? Uh, do, do do you have yeah. uh, an affinity for the Force, Gareth? Because that might have gotten you through it without without trouble. Uh, well, no, Lewis. I I, th I think I I actually have have a um, a way to assist with Metropolis Zone. You might have heard of it. It's called Get Good Scrub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any criticism about anything. When, 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 I think of, when I think of Metropolis Zone being unfair, I'm thinking about shit like the slicer at the end, at, at the top of the bouncing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That 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 kind of stuff is bullshit. But uh, at that point in, in Sonic 2's development, I think they were feeling a bit rushed. So it, it gets pretty clear toward the end of Sonic 2 that the, the enemy placement level design is a bit unrefined. Um, but apart from that, like. You know, I w when I when I see people arguing for the individual flaws of the Sonic games, they usually have a good they usually have a good grasp of things. Like Sonic One's level design is not all that is not all that based around speed compared to the other compared to the other games, and that's that's a valid point to make. Honestly, I I, I agree that those that go on and say that Sonic was never good are just doing it for. For clickbait purposes, or just it's it's the popular thing to do because it's it's goddamn ridiculous to even say such a thing. Otherwise, we wouldn't be doing a commentary <laughs> over a game's 25th anniversary. Which, speaking of, look forward to FTCR's new 10-part show. Sonic was never good. Come in this fall <laughs> on the Fox Network. <laughs> this okay, boss, this boss is my favorite boss in my in the game. I There's think. gotta be a semblance of quality here. Or throughout the franchise, if it's keeping going this long. Yeah. I say this just remembering that Bubsy is getting revived in a couple of months from now. Is it? Is, but, it, is it weird that to me the new Bubsy game looks better than Sonic Forces does at this point? <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's how low Forces looks okay, to me. I'd rather play Before Bubsy. we talk about Bubsy, can we just <laughs> appreciate that these mad geniuses created not just a miniature Amy Rose, but an Amy doll? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This is no. This is, I think, the best boss in the game. Not just because it's, I think. Really? In, yeah. I well, first off, it's creative as heck, which I appreciate. And second off, I think that it's you can make it as hard as you want it to because if you just jump and take care, if you jump to drop down one thing at a time and you kill each thing individually, it's pretty easy but time consuming. But again, it's not about going fast. So to make it faster, you can jump a lot to drop as many uh, capsules down as possible and kill them more quickly. And then that makes it a, like a, it's it's. I thought it was neat. <laughs> I guess the best thing is that all three of the little miniatures do exactly what they did in their original games. Amy grabs you and and holds you in place for a few seconds. The yeah. Marble Zone boss shoots fire at the floor and it spreads when it hits. Oh, and, blah, blah, blah. sorry. That, and then that, of course that, there's the, the Emerald Zone, the Emerald Hill Zone boss. I was I was doing my best Tim Allen impersonation at the at the at the lightning, which comes out of nowhere and has hit me more times than I can count. Okay, type this. <laughs> Fall, uh, Titanic Monarch is what this stage is called. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I love the music for these stages. Oh, I thought I think it's boring. Uh, personally, incidentally, I... Titanic Monarch. Well, I, it's not my favorite level in the game. I think it's more effective as a, an ominous lead into the final boss than as a standalone stage. The, the the level design. Get the checkpoint, you fool! No, go back. Get it. <laughs> It's I don't need it. This, this level is an easy one for me now. No. I've, I've beaten it like three or four times. But you know, the level design of Titanic Monarch reminds me of Egg Rocket, except well, better. And the aesthetic reminds me of Final Egg Zone from Sonic Adventure. Hmm. I I will say I get more of a, I get more Egg Fleet from Sonic Heroes. Look I'm more good. of a I, I guess I'm more of a weird kind of side thing where. 
The color palette of the level in and of itself reminds me of Heroes, but the background gives me massive Robotropolis vibes from the OVA. Yeah, ah, it's, it's, right. it's the ominous feeling and the grunginess of certain metal textures and, well, textures, metal uh, sprite work in this uh, in, in this level is is what reminds me of Final Egg. Final Egg Question, in places though. also had I think a bit of a city background going. Yeah, there was the first half which is more of a like a like there was the first half that was more of the the bassy type, and then there was the the faster paced part in the middle as Sonic. But honestly, this is my least favorite zone of the game. It goes on for forever. I will say, in, in, t in terms of the visual, this one sticks out to me as a as a very unique visual style, which I think, in, in terms of the backgrounds, does it mesh a hundred percent with a lot of the previous levels? I think to me, like the, the, the flags, the moving flags, which look great, don't like this. We've never really seen anything like that in a previous Sonic game. Which again, to go like this level, kind of uh, it hits me in the most, and I. I I say this. I say this not as a uh, as a derogatory term, but I think it, it's almost kind of a blessing. Um, this the background looks kind of, a, of of like a fan game thing, where like someone tried to take a style that didn't necessarily fit with the kind of 16 Sonic aesthetic. And but I think this is the visually Fuck. Yeah, that happened, that's to, happened to everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but I, I think I, th I, think, I think visually this is the best level in the game. I just I think this level looks amazing. Here's the thing about this level. The boss after this is, I thought it was pretty hard. And these levels are long. And at this point, I didn't have a lot of lives. Obviously, Lewis has got like 30 lives, so this isn't going to be a problem for him. But if you die to the to the final boss of this stage, of this act, of the zone, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. This game, this world. You have to replay 20 minutes of stage in order to get back to where you were. And it's not very, it's, I find this stage very boring as well. Like, there's a lot of, like, I, there's a lot of those Sonic 3 special stage orb thingies and bonus a lot of bouncing stage, yeah. around. I and actually, just, well, the, 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 those particular Sonic 3 bonus, uh, Sonic and Knuckles bonus stages, I should say, were the, were, were, oh, oh, are you talking about the, the Metropolis orb. Zone bouncing things or the orbs? Uh, the, no, orbs. the orbs. The, the bouncy yeah, the, things the, are... The orbs are too, actually but. some of my favorite bonus stages in anything, so I yep. actually really enjoyed using them. But that's because I played that bonus stage a bazillion times to get shields and rings and lives, so I, 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 I instinctively know how to control those things now. And they feel exactly the same, too, so... It just doesn't feel like there's anything interesting in this zone that's fun. Like, for example, there are these these turtles that will blow you away and just kind of stop you. And then there's oh, those springs you, right? that will make it hard to backtrack. And then there's these things, while interesting, kind of grind the pace down to a halt. Whereas you've got the bouncy things, which just kind of push you forward when you might not necessarily want to. It's not fun to me. The other um, interesting thing about this level, though, is that it's almost completely linear. Um, yeah. Like, yeah. It, 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 like, it gives up completely on the openness of the other ones in favor there, of having... There, there are a few small alternate paths, but those few alternate paths actually do have uh, special stages, if you can find them. Yeah, it's... It, it's um, it, it, it's it, 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 Like I said, it, the level design reminds me of Egg Rocket, in the sense that you are continually climbing upward. And in the yeah. background, there is a giant Eggman-shaped tower... Much like the one at the end of Sonic 3D Blast. It's right? not. That, that, is, that, well. that is not. This, this is what I was going to bring up. That's not just a tower. That's a robot he is currently it, powering up. It's supposed to be that, a hard, not another hard boiled heavy. It's. Wait, what, what I wanted to ask before the fun police take me away. Uh, we never fight that robot in this game. Nope. Is it one of the robots from Forces? Like in no, the apocalypse. No, Johnny, Johnny, it's 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 one of the lyric sentinels, which again just sits in the background. Does fuck all. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's a waste of time. Yes. <laughs> also, did we really need to bring this boss back? This is from Sonic again, Three, isn't it? Yes. This this is, is, this is from yeah. Death Egg Act One, and again, this is what I'm saying. For some reason, in, in, in the later half of, of this game, they bring back so many bosses. We it, it get it, to me. I'm like. I just, I just got bored of all these Reese bosses, and again, you know, like there's 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 a slight elevated gimmick here, which is kind of uh, kind of neat, but on the home, like I could have done without. All I these didn't Reese notice bosses. the elevator gimmick until the third time I had to fight this boss because I came over to the next one. That said, though, when I got to this point as Knuckles, I kind of panicked, <laughs> realizing that we got we, we, the, the boss was the same because in the original, 
You couldn't well, jump you high enough the, to hit it. You couldn't jump oh. high enough to hit it because you weren't supposed to fight that boss's knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I almost forgot about that. But no, I didn't have any problems with this when I when I got to it as knuckles. Anyway, Titanic Monarch Zone Act 2, instead of having the straight-up linear progression that Act 1 has, instead does a segmented sort of... Boss rush without Choose the bosses pathway. design. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, it, it, it kind of reminds me of it. Kind of reminds me of um, Swordsman stage from Mega Man Eight, where like it's all, in, that, in that level you have like a little bit of a platform, but then you put into a a room with four glowing orbs, kind of like the stuff you go into, and you have to do challenges, and then once you've done all three, it unlocks the next part of the level. Uh, so that regard, that reminded me more of Kirby Trip of Lux, but that's just I played that more. So uh, I I go back to Yoshi's Island on uh, Fortress Four. One a, a fortress level in uh, World Four is the exact same thing. Yeah. In, in any case, Titanic Monarch is more of a narrative tool than the other levels. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, you know, the, the linearity of Act One is 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 this build up to actually getting inside the robot slash tower thing, and then when you're in here and you've got this whole Chaos Emerald cathedral aesthetic going on. Oh, uh, you, you didn't you didn't you, you didn't get the special uh, ring there. No, uh, I'm not bothering. Only found two in this entire run. Brian, you clearly saw he didn't. Did you have to rub it in his face? Titanic Monarch Act One is kind of a level that I ha that I have to get through as fast as I can because I, uh, <laughs> this, this, you, this level still can took be you five minutes. I should stress that too. To yeah, it, it's it, it's 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 long, but uh, the the thing about uh, the way this 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 level is structured with the four segmented pieces is that it establishes the time space warp. Which is important because the game ends with the time space warp sending classic Sonic into San Sonic Forces. <laughs> so allegedly. Well, it's also it's also a, a punishing element of the stage in particular because you don't see it now, but it's what's directly below Lewis is a time warp, and if you fall down, you basically have to do the area. Again. Oh yeah, in this part in particular, it's really really annoying as well because it's there's a lot of parts where you can jump back in. Uh, to the pit accidentally. Like, if you just, like, like oh, right, right like, right there. Or if you're slightly to the left of that checkpoint, too, you'll drop back in. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. looks like we're playing so... Blue Sphere. Oh. Sorry, so, sorry, Eggman, gotta, gotta play Blue Sphere for a little bit. A trick that you can <laughs> use in Mania that you could also use in Sonic 3 and Knuckles that if you wanted to de-transform yourself, you could use the sparkles to for the bonus stages to quickly yep. go in and then go out and then... You're normal Gra again. Well, in Sonic 3, the trick usually involved grabbing a shield so that you wouldn't transform again immediately the moment you left the level, but, uh, yeah. It's handy just, to know. Then just touch your red sphere and get out of here. Why are you, sub why are you subjecting us to this, Lewis? I thought we were friends. Because you Lewis can't help himself. <laughs> we're already here. Might as well do it. And the thing about these ones is that all of the all of the blue sphere stages that we've seen so far have already been shown and have already been from, are, are from Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles. And I've played them so many times that I just autopilot my way to a perfect every time. I'm like, okay, I'm not even thinking right now. I might as well have been, I might as well have been watching a movie while I played. I could do this. I'm not even thinking right now. That said, <laughs> there. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis, I, wa I won't lie because because of your, you know, your tendencies to want to, you know, uh, collect everything and everything. Part of me was worried you were going to show off every single fucking Oh, God, no. In this whole period, it's like, I don't know if I want to be a part of this, boys, if I got to sit through There's like, what, how many How those? many Blue Sphere stages are there in this like, game? 32. Yeah, oh, that would... That not, would... Not, not, not counting the Blue Sphere game and the options. Uh, three three parts of just Blue Sphere and nothing but Oh, three that. parts. No, we're, we're, we're attaching Sonic and Knuckles to Sonic 1 and playing all one million of them. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not going to lie. Even me, and I'm a major Blue Sphere uh, fanatic when it comes to S3 and K, even I got a bit sick and tired of going into Blue Sphere bonus stages by the end of my first playthrough. <laughs> yep. There's too many. I, 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 I think there's there's far too many. They should just they should have just not done the reused ones and just made like 14 original. I think that would have would have been better than having uh, so fucking well, many of them. Uh, the, the the real problem for me as far as that goes is that I really would have been happier if the bonus stages had been actual bonus stages that contributed to uh, ring counts, lives, shields, because that was a that was a really cool thing in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, where you could just go into a bonus stage and get an elemental shield that the level design didn't necessarily mean for you to have at that point. There was also three of them. There was three different yeah. bonus stages, which in that, that regard... That, that's where I get it at. In, in, in that regard, you know, that, that's where it feels more like, like a, 
a step back and them kind of being, again, which I, I'm not sure if Blue Sphere was the developers or Sega's behalf, but whoever decided it just feels like, again, if, if say, the original team had made a Sonic 4, I doubt they would have just, you had one special stage, you know, they, they probably would have made three or more new ones. Yeah, well, I think part of it is just that, you know, we haven't seen Blue Sphere in such a while and they wanted to work it in in some way. But they also wanted to have an original special stage that we've never seen before. So they compromised and made this Blue Sphere as a bonus stage, which, you know, I, I was I was on board for that idea before I played it. It was one of those things that um, uh, p probably looks better on paper than in execution. Be careful you know? what you wish for, Lewis. Which, which again, which uh, which is one th one reason why I'm kind of bummed we never got um, Sonic 4 Episode 3, because I, I, I think they were kind of, I mean, based on how 1 and 2 went, you could probably make a logical argument that Knuckles would have been back and Blue Sphere would have been the special stage. Yes. Which is, you know, which is... Uh, yeah, action. but if it was Sonic 4, then that means that it would be stupid hard and not fun. So... Ted, I mean, you'd have to uh, restart Ted. every five seconds. Ted, I'll actually get good, defend get good. the special stages in Sonic 4 were a pretty interesting remix of the previous ideas. Well, less so the half-pipe. Yeah, I'm not going to give you that. The, <laughs> the, the concept is fine. It's just the fact that like the 6th and 7th ones were always so obnoxious. Yeah. And, well, especially when I was playing Sonic 4 Episode 1 and I didn't know that you could reset the to, <laughs> to save yourself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Then. Yeah. The special stages in Sonic 4 Episode 1 and 2 put me to sleep. Good. The drugs worked. Yeah. <laughs> Although, guys, come on, in Episode 2 they let you boost in special stage. It's, it's half pipe with a boost. It's like Sonic Unleashed. Here's something that surprised me. The Egg Robos are featured as a pretty prominent thing in this game, but we never actually see any regular Egg Robo badniks. Well, we do in the, uh, well, in, uh, Cityopolis. Cityopolis yeah. Sect 1, boss. Yeah. No, but yeah. no, they're not, those aren't bad nicks. Those are just egg background robos. items that are part well, of the still, boss. No, well, I mean an there. actual egg robo bad nick in the level. I hate oh, this boss. Okay. I hate this boss so I much. I love this boss. It's, this boss is great. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Also, you, br you can break it in two quite easily if you come into it with an electric shield. Yep. Yep. Oh, no, guys, uh, just, to, just because we haven't really, really mentioned them at all, what did you guys think of the, uh, Hardboard heavies as kind of like villain slash plot device for this game. I, thought, I, thought that, that really I think cool. that they're underutilized. I think that it would have been a little bit better if they were like always the act one boss well, or something. I agree yeah. with that. Yeah, they're, they're underutilized. But here's the thing: none of them ever die except for the heavy king. So the other four might still be around yeah, for future games. Does heavy king die? Well, we blow him up in the super boss. Well, also, guys, also, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if, if this is a, a spoiler, but in any final Supersonic fight, are we led to believe that the hardboard heavy king is trying to betray Eggman, or are they working together? Yeah. I think yeah. that was pretty blatant. Well, Journey, I'm uh, not a smart man, all right? Fuck you. I'm saying maybe you should just open your eyes. Well, you're not gonna fucking uh, keep my eyes open when I play video games now. You're not my dad. <laughs> I'll keep them closed and do what I want. So the thing about this is the the like. For, this is actually I've only ever saw the first two heavy mini boss things in this in this stage and I, I got Same. hit to this one a lot actually but uh, you just you just go to the other side yeah but uh, I'm bad at video games okay don't even need to do that you can stay at the center and duck yeah I'm bad That's at video I... games and yeah. don't make fun of me it hurts my feelings and makes me <laughs> sad yeah uh, the um the the the, the uh hard-boiled heavy interludes that happen when Eggman summons the magic glove and teleports you to another dimension, I guess. I don't know They're... why they need the glove, because I thought that you were supposed to dodge it at first, and I spent like yeah. 30 seconds just running away, and nothing happens. Like Ted, no joke, I literally, two minutes, I spent dodging it thinking, when the fuck is this going to move on? <laughs> I, I <laughs> that, that, no, that, that's, what, that's what I did for the... Uh... Silver Sonic part of Metal Sonic's fight. I just kept killing the Silver Sonics. Like, okay, are we gonna do something? <laughs> so, uh, oh, another fun thing is if both, if you're playing a Sonic and Tails, and both hands grab Tails at the same time, you'll be soft locked and have to reset as well. <laughs> oh. yes, Oops. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. So, like, uh, I guess maybe I played this boss a little bit too recklessly, but I never even saw this part because I killed him. I killed him yeah, earlier. Same. Yeah. I just, I, I just kill him too fast. I never get to these. <laughs> We're just too good, Lewis, is what we're basically saying to you. You're playing this game. Although, Lewis, are you intentionally going slow to show off all the hardboard heavy segments? Um, 
Well, I say don't know. yes, Lewis. No. Say yes. <laughs> How do you speed it up until the electricity like, no. part? You get you get gone. close and you get close and get close and just take a hit and then you can smack him like four times per. Yeah. yeah. Oh. If you um if you tank hits and blow up tentacles, I don't like tanking hits. It's not fun. Well, this, well, you're wrong. But uh, anyway, yeah. so, uh, get good, Lewis. Get good. Uh, if oh you God, it's Sonic hits, Dot EXE. Ah. If you tank hits and blow up tentacles each and every single time, you actually skip the hard boil heavy phases. Can yeah. I just say I love this final boss to pieces? It's pretty cool. Love, it's, love it's the music and it's an interesting uh, take on the Super Sonic final boss. This although this boss design looks like something out of Knights rather than Sonic. <laughs> Is the timer supposed to be freaking out? Yeah. 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 Okay. We're in a space who time was it? Warp, right. So. Was it? Was it you who thought that was a glitch? And Johnny yeah, was like, yeah. and Johnny was like, um, no, it's part of the game, you fool. What are you talking the, the about? The designers, the designers obviously realized while they were making this that there is no point in having a ten-minute timer on a supersonic boss because yeah, win or lose, rings. you're not taking ten minutes. Um, so <laughs> they decided to use the timer as a a narrative element to, to let you know that you're outside the normal flow of time and everything. So can Two you fly also, in this? Or yeah, 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 you can fly. Yeah, you just jump again. You just jump you, in the air. You do a double jump things. after after walking on the ground, and you'll go into flight mode. I will say two things about this. If you press the jump button, you do kind of like a speed burst, which takes ten rings, which I would advise not doing. For me, I actually find the best defense is just to stay on the ground. Just stay on the yeah. ground and, and we'll, we'll wait for them to pop up and then just jump into them. Like I, the first time I tried this, I died flying. The second time, I stayed on the ground and I I beat it no problem. Yeah. Uh, also, a question is Eggman's mech supposed to be like a uh, a kind of barely fixed up together uh, big arms? Yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> that's oh, the vibe I get like, from it. It looks like I, it looks like I, I see bandages on the arms. <laughs> duct yeah. tape. Yeah, <laughs> duct tape. Very <laughs> oh, space tape. tape. Very expensive. Oh, they did it's that made on purpose. By the Panther King. They did that on purpose because this is the only other boss that can damage supersonic. <laughs> That's clever. Oh yeah, you're right. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking nerds. <laughs> the reference is, is is lost on me. No, 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 no. Like e everyone who's ever, e anyone who's ever completed Sonic Three alone knows oh, that yes! the big arm is the only one that can damage Super Sonic because they'll 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 have inevitably tried to cheese the final boss's Super Sonic, but then gotten grabbed as Super Sonic and been pile drived into the ground. Of course, of course, yes, yes, yes. Well, you see, I don't know that because I play good games, and as we all know, Sonic was never good. So Gee, you play <laughs> SA2. Shut the fuck up, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, even even though in terms of the story campaign, you can't play this as Tails and Knuckles. If you use the debug mode, which our friend Derek at Game Explain showed off, you can actually fight this this uh, boss as Super Tails and Super Knuckles. Super yeah. Knuckles even has his own uh, extra ending. No, no, no! I thought no. Did that only? I thought that only happens if you play Knuckles and Knuckles mode. No, if if you can, you can just level select. If, if you play, if solar. you play Knuckles and Knuckles and get all the Chaos Emeralds, then when you get to the end of the game, it does actually send you to the Supersonic boss. Oh, um, cool! I know that. Yeah. So if you, but if you get get a game over here, do you have to fight? Go through all of. Titanic you have Mon to go through Titanic Monarch again. Uh, yes, you oh can't, God! You, can't, you cannot select Ed, Egg Reverie from the save file, which is annoying. Yes, uh, but well. which it's it's odd because like uh, they treat Doomsday as its own zone. I don't get why this. Yeah, could be yeah, no, that is a little zone. odd. Well, well I think again, the reason I, I think the reason they did that in Sonic Three and Knuckles was more because uh, Death Egg Zone had a multi-phase boss all to itself. <laughs> so. Yeah, this is a that's a multi-phase boss. You, you go multiple phases. There's normal phase and heavy phase. That's two. That's yeah. multi. <laughs> well, was, oh. it, it Death Egg Zone had like the um. Oh, it had like the nose thing, not the nose. Yeah, thing, it, it had the, the the big robot where you had to destroy its fingers and then it chased you. Delicious fingers. <laughs> but then, even before that, it also had the anti gravity boss right before the giant robot. Wow, oh, I didn't yeah. even know Eggman had another attack. Yeah, if you, if, if 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 you're too slow to attack him, you start doing this. Now weird you see, here, here's the thing: the Eggman part of the boss is the easiest part to hit. However, the rings only spawn when Eggman is active. So, if you're low on rings, you're going to want to let him hang around for a little while. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. there's nothing that really tells you. It's not obvious that they would only spawn while he's on screen. Well, so, it's are you it sure? starts because they're spawning. They're nah, spawning those are just now. those are just rings I haven't picked up yet and they're floating around. 
Uh, the, it, you if, sure? if you spend too much time dodging around the energy balls that, that, that Heavy King has, you'll start to notice that the rings start to become really thin on the ground. Oof. Uh, I think well, the rings that get knocked out of you start floating around too. Huh. Well, to go back to go back to the thing about you know having to go back to old zones and also uh, a previous comment about you know like certain design choices like the time like timeouts would seem outdated. Again, I think the fact that you can't select specific acts to play through again is kind of of a outdated yeah. mechanic. Without doing level select, you mean? Yeah. Or you can it do really time is. attack, yeah. I guess. Although the, well, no, although no, the save but, feature, I mean, like, so if, the save feature is still. Um, is still better than it was in the previous game. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was on the ground. I was trying to double jump. Uh, but uh, the, the, the save feature in this game doesn't just save your lives and continues like Sonic 3 and Knuckles did. It also saves your score. Oddly yeah, enough. everybody cares about their score. Well, the score is also what gets you extra lives. Uh, 50,000 points, I think, is the threshold. Uh, maybe. But again, it would have... It it would it would have been nice if I could just you know go back and play, say Starter Speedway Act Two, the whole thing you know, when I wanted to, rather than having to wait you know, play Frack One. Or if, if there was was like a boss a, a boss mode where I could just play through the bosses either in a rush or yeah. at, at my at my own choice. Because again, some of the bosses, not all, not all of them, but some of the bosses I think I would rank pretty highly in kind of classic 2D Sonic games. Screw you, Eggman, I'm going to Sonic Forces! Yeah, and I like having a Sonic Adventure-style boss rush mode would actually be a fun extra in this in, in, in this game, I think. Which, again, they, they tried that with Sonic 2, but Sega kind of uh, uh, said no at the last second. Ah. Uh, so, question, so, so I, I was talking to a friend yesterday about this. Is, is Titanic Monarch on Little Planet? Presumably so. I mean, you go from Metallic Madness straight into Titanic Monarch, so... My thing is, is that... We blew oh, no, up Sonic Little Dead. Planet! No! Sonic's yeah. dead! <laughs> nah, they didn't blow it up. Nope. They sent it back to its other dimension. That's the thing about Little Planet. Hi, Modern Sonic. I'm Classic Sonic here Here's again. Here's my thing, though. Little Planet is awfully random in Mania. Like... Yep. It doesn't really factor into anything and just kind of makes, like, oh, yeah, that's... Oh, it's almost like it's a nostalgia a callback for the sake of being well, a nostalgia the thing, callback. The thing is... The thing is, is that you know we begin the game on Angel Island, and For no reason. it's like, like by the by the by the end of the game, it's like we have a callback to the. Sonic I CD suspect, and I like, although this is huh? something that you kind of have to theorize about because this game doesn't have much actual <laughs> story. Uh, I suspect he took the Phantom Ruby to Little Planet because he was trying to see what it's what, what would happen if he combined it with Little Planet's space time weirdness. So, yeah. Or maybe sure. they didn't think that far, and it's just there because oh, lo people like Little Planet, yeah. Cool. Well, again, so are we? Are we assuming? Are we assume? Oh, you know what? I I, I never noticed Jun Sun I worked on this game. That, that's cool. So are, are we assuming? Does this take place? Maybe does this take place after Episode Two? And this is they finally freed Little Planet. It's just what they. It's just what no, this, this they said this happens right after Three and Knuckles. Yeah. So where the fuck is the Floyd Island in the floor again? <laughs> they, just, they just fixed it. <laughs> we assume we already talked about this in Adventure One. It doesn't fly; it hops. It's also <laughs> it's also very strange when you think about it because apparently the Master Emerald is still on Angel Island because you see it in the Hidden Palace Zone as Knuckles. With Knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> so. So what you so what you're saying is this game is terrible. Zero out of ten. I, I get you. I get you. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's, it's kind of like one of those the moon should be blown up moments, except now classic Sonic has one. <laughs> no, Izuka has has been over this, Lewis. Every time we see it, we just seen the other side of the moon. You only can see the moon from one side. Dude. Exactly. Yeah. That's how science works. <laughs> Fuck you, Ted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I will say that the credit sequence goes on a little too long. Oh no! Oh. While I while I like the pixel art designs floating past, I miss the way the previous games did it, where the credits were a montage of themes from the levels. And Sonic 3 and Knuckles in particular, that ending was a thing of beauty. It's just you fly you're flying away from Angel Island on the plane, or maybe you're on yep. your supersonic, and the birds are flying after you, and the credits roll up over it. And as the mon montage plays, you just sit back, you nod to yourself, and you're like, "Yeah, I did that." 
Yeah. It was so, so sad. Sonic, Sonic's plane is flying backwards. Yeah, good job. Sonic. <laughs> well, sprite mirroring was a, a thing that a lot of games no, did. No, no, no. That's that's so for other planes in the front can look at their rearview mirror and know that it's Sonic's plane. <laughs> but yeah, looks. I, I do agree. I do kind of you know it, it is odd that for again a game that is so heavily mimicking the old ones that they either a didn't uh, use a, a a montage of the music or two didn't just rip off a Michael Jackson song for the end credits. Why the fuck isn't this playing an instrumental version of Biddy Jean? It's it, it's a really satisfying <laughs> way to end a video game in particular, though. And like Sonic, it, Sonic, Sonic Unleashed did it did something similar, where the credits rolled as Sonic was running along the ground and Tails was flying the plane after him. It, for the, it's for uh, the first two minutes it did. It would have been a, yeah, yeah, and then it, that, the and then it faded into the pictures and stuff. But you know, Tails' yeah. plane would run out of gas, guys. Okay. The, yeah. the point is that the credit roll of a game is a really good way to wrap up the adventure aspect of playing through an adventure. <laughs> and, oh, uh, in, in the case of Sonic Colors, extend that for 15 minutes for no fucking reason. Uh, Sonic <laughs> Sonic credits are just too long in general, or they have no been video game video game credits in general are just too long nowadays. Yeah, hey, so it, Sonic Lost World's credits are under three minutes. I give that I give that game credit. <laughs> Just I guess fucking credit. You give it I credit. Guess, <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm not a big, I'm not as big a fan of games that treat their credit rolls the same way movies do. Um, same, same, yeah. So. We don't need to know who the assistant accountant was for Sega of Romania. So you're saying <laughs> that after this, Nick Fury's going to ask, so <gasps> "Wait, Traffic Sonic manager. does join the Avengers as Sonic Forces? Yeah, yeah. It, it all wraps together." <laughs> uh, final thoughts, everyone. I can't wait till they make a second one where there's no rehashed zones. That's <laughs> like, I still love it. I still love this game a lot, but yeah, I'm looking forward to Mania too. Actually, Ted, I have a question that I want to ask. This goes to the Game Explain post review discussion. One of the people involved suggested that if they did do rehashed zones for M M Mania two, pixel art versions of Sonic Adventure levels. Okay, so here's. This okay because there's there's actually an example of me going like completely backwards on my word for this before and we were talking it was about Kirby where I said I don't know if I'd want them to do power combinations again and then they show off and it's like oh my gosh power combinations so keep in mind that if this were to actually happen I might completely change my mind but <laughs> <laughs> I it, it, we see what these people can do when they're given free reign to make whatever the hell they want. Yeah, and okay. I would like to see that come to its full potential because the four zones that they made here are kind of they they kind of they're a tease, I guess is the is the best way to put it. They're a tease of what this game could have been had they been able to do what they wanted from the start. And so I would like them to make a full game with original concepts all the way through and yeah. not having to tie into older zones or what like again, call outs are fine like if you want, like, a little, oh, here's a neat little hidden callback to to Mystic Cave, sure. But I don't need to see those same themes in music in, again. I For me, the, the only the only difference might be is if they did something with Game Gear games. Because, as as according to Izuka, those games don't exist. But, you know, just because, like, they've, they've really never been... Aside from, the, like, the one or two small things in this game, I wouldn't mind if they had to do... Old levels again. For the love of God, we don't need to, need to see more Mega Drive games. But I'd be perfectly fine with the odd uh, Game Gear game, you know, because like it's Triple Trouble, Chaos. Those games never really get referenced. Well, that's because Sonic Chaos that's is trash. Chaos is awful. <laughs> Son <laughs> and not to mention Game Gear games. I have uh, I have one more question for you, Ted. Yes. If Sonic Mania 2 does happen in its entirely original zones, would you be able to go back to this game and feel less cynical about the rehash levels? Um, that's something that I would only really be able to answer once that were to happen. I guess part of why it's think, no, I don't think I don't think I don't think a sequel having more original content could retroactively change your opinion. Part of on the well, I guess system. what I should I am part of why I'm cynical about this game is that it's released now. It's 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 context. I guess if this were the Sonic Four we got. In 2009, it would have been phenomenal, and I would have lo I would have been way more ecstatic about it than I am when it's being released in 2017, and where I am, and where the franchise has been, and where my journey through it has been throughout, like yeah. all this sort of thing. So, yeah, context is important. Maybe I would be a little bit less harsh on it, but I still think 
it I wouldn't be thrilled with them. I guess is mm. that's at least. No, what I, I can just predict. I I don't necessarily mean like you would let go of your criticism. More like if you went back to it at that point, would you have more fun than you necessarily uh, had now? Maybe, maybe. Uh, mm. Yeah, I'll just say maybe because then I can then yeah, I can back sense. out later and with no, no middle answer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get off the fucking fence, Ted. You piece of shit. Oh. <laughs> Uh, anyone else got any closing statements? I need I need Mania I need Mania too with nothing but uh, original stages like yesterday. <laughs> uh, uh, I think it's it's a you know it's a very 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 good game you know I give it a very solid eight out of ten possibly when 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 they fix and tweak a few things it may go up but again I think for me it it slightly loses points. Because again, I, I I don't think it has its own identity. I think it's trying, for better or worse, it is it is trying to too closely emulate Sonic Three and Knuckles rather than be its own thing. But like everyone else, I I, I greatly look forward to a a sequel with um original. I mean, even even if, if 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 they have to do a sequel with rehashed levels, as long as it's up to the uh, standard and caliber of this game, I wouldn't I wouldn't like it, but I'm, I'd probably still enjoy it. So eight out of ten, very very good game. I would hardly recommend it. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I'm I'm of the same mind, although I'm more of an eight point five. Um, as I've played through the game, and by now I've played through it like four times, including this recording, I've come to settle my opinion on it as being like slightly below Sonic Three and Knuckles. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I would probably play Sonic Mania before going back to one, two, and CD at this point in time. Agreed. Yeah. Maybe I think I might put Mania and two, maybe close together, but definitely over one and CD. But yeah, I I don't think it's as good as. Uh, I'll I'll, I'll say Marcus. that like um, Sonic two would have been on even footing or higher, except it still has Metropolis Zone in it, and that <laughs> bullshit pisses me off every time I get. Lewis, to it. just just get good. <laughs> uh, what about you? I know you got your own review, Mister. Some call me Janny, but. What what do you think about the mania of Sonic? You can watch Donnie vs. Sonic Mania. Yeah, but we're watching Brain Scratch now, <laughs> so stop <laughs> stop plugging your shit, man. <laughs> you already have so many more subscribers than we do. Yeah, Jordy, stop plugging yourself on a channel which has like four times more subscribers, you egotistical nutsack. <laughs> Just fucking say what you think this game is. <laughs> it is quite a lovely nutsack, though. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I love Sonic Mania. I really do. But that's also because I grew up with the Hedgehog since the 90s. So that's a goddamn given. Yep. <laughs> uh, that said, it is very much a case of nostalgic pandering. And it comes with all of its trappings. You're going to yeah. love it if you're an old-time Sonic fan. But if you're just jumping into this, uh, to quote my brother Mark, who was helping me with competitive mode footage, why does Tails fall down so goddamn slowly in the flying animation? <laughs> <laughs> Which is to say, if you don't really play Sonic a whole lot, you're probably not going to get it. <laughs> Tails fall so slow and gotta go fast. And Sonic, Sonic Mania was not designed for the new player. It was clearly designed for the old school player. And at this point, you just gotta you take it or leave it. That said, I want the new game. I want the next game because there will be one. There ain't no fucking way in hell Sonic Team Sega Team ignoring that Metacritic score. They're fucking better be or else. Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe I, I just want a, an entirely original next Sonic game like this. Oh, okay. Because... So you want Emerald Hill, uh, Marble <laughs> Zone. What I'm saying, Ted, is that I want Sonic 4 Episode 3. Yeah, my no, man I, knows best game actually, ever made. No, that was, that, that, that's, that, 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 that's horseshit. Okay, so <laughs> the Your next horseshit. Sonic Adventure, the robo arc. <laughs> no, we don't. Well, for the love of God, we, we do not need SA3. That fan page cannot be vindicated. <laughs> Sonic Mania is too fucking political. I don't like this Wait, game Okay, Gareth, what if we jumped from Sonic... What if we skipped Adventure 3 and made Adventure 4 instead? Well, Ted, to be fair, Sonic Adventure 7 is already out for the Game Boy, so fuck it. We'll just go from there. You know, that that's that's a thought, Ted. It worked for Microsoft. <laughs> Uh, they could, they could just, they could just backtrack and say Sonic 06 was Adventure Three the entire time, which it kind of was. So, of course you know. it was. <laughs> Thank you, Clement, for taking three hours to tell us that. Couldn't, couldn't have figured that out on my own. I think bottom line is, 
None of us actually like Sonic. Sonic was never good. Please like, comment, subscribe. Send us cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, Jordan, I was drinking then, you sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll see everyone in a few months for Sonic Forces. Oh, oh, okay. You know we're going to do it. Yeah, I do, yeah, but, but... Are we looking forward to it? Yes. Question. Uh... Dude, new brand new Sonic game getting a lot of attention during the holiday season. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch-ch